this upcoming season, it's uh, real obviously different than the first one because we know everything that's going on, or at least the setup. How would you describe it? What well, the difference between the first season and all the others is fundamental. The first season is, is a kind of uh, either you survive with the series or you don't. So you are a little bit cautious about what you're doing. You prep it very well, but still there's a kind of apprehension. We did some mistakes in the first, but still we were able to establish a storyline, and there were a lot of storylines to be established. So the second season is kind of a, a very fresh freedom we feel about the story is established, the characters are there, they have their weaknesses, they have their strengths, the conflicts exist, so that's where we start from. And we had the showdown of the first season with the master escaping and being in bad shape, so that's where we build up. And, uh, I personally think that the second season is, is better than the first because it's more solid. We have more faith in us. Uh, we know our characters. And uh, the writers, uh, far away from just trusting that, they push the boundaries with their writings because they introduce completely new storylines. They go sideways. Meaning that they develop a lot of stories that are not in the books, that keeps it sexy for those who have read the books, and but they mingle very well uh, with what is what's written in the book. So it's not that what's written in the books just stands where it is, and we have a season that has nothing to do with the books. No, the book also is pushed, but it's mingled with those um, those other conflicts. New characters, very important characters are introduced. Three, I can think of now. And they have a potential like Dutch Baldus. If you if you have read the books, you know that Dutch Baldus hardly exist in more than two phrases. And look what character she became. So this is the potential of a new character when you bring him in. That's what you hope for, but you don't know. It's like we all see it. And, you, and we're waiting to pop up, and then we wait for the harvest time, and then see what, what harvest do you do, you have. And so, uh, they are very, very reactive, the writers and Carl, and they, they made some very strong decisions about some characters, uh, introducing them or changing their way of life, or storyline, but I think it's very courageous what happens in, in, in the second season. It surprised me. Basically, you know, we know basically more or less what will happen to our characters because first of all we play the characters so we're in the in the in the plot, you know. Second we have read the books. Third we talk to our writers and but then still Every time I get a, a screenplay, a script, and I read it, I'm surprised. Because, you know, it's like you, you are on, you climb up a tree and you see all the ways you could go. So you have a kind of overview of the potential of your character, you know? But then, every time happens to me that yeah, it goes that way, but it took a branch I've never seen, and it goes elsewhere. And so it's actually beautiful to this, because it's like a little bit in the spectator's situation. A little bit ahead of him, because he discovers it when he's on, on TV, but still we are discovering the scripts and the destiny of our characters two weeks before we shoot the, the actual episode, which is not like the writers, they, they're going into the room and right now, and in, in, in a couple of days they start writing the new season, they will know what happens to us, but we don't. We will discover the first book in November, two weeks before we start shooting. So it's sexy. <laughs> it really is. The Master is looking for a new vessel, and I, of course, is uh, a part of that. What can you tell us about that? Well, I'm a good vessel. <laughs> <laughs> you are. <laughs> That's what I would say. The rest is in the stars. Okay. Or in the caves, as a vampire would say. And that's his goal? That's really his ultimate goal? Huh? Is, is that your character's ultimate goal? Is to... Well, that's a discussion, an ongoing discussion. From my character's point of view, I wouldn't say so, because not unlike Palmer, I'm not a self-made man. Unlike Palmer, I'm not a CEO who can't support anybody above him. I'm, I, didn't, I didn't follow the Hitler as a Nazi in order to become Hitler. 
and I didn't follow the master in order to become the master. I follow a strong father figure, a strong leader, because I believe in his dogma. So makes me one of the best generals you can probably imagine, but but then even if the master decides I will be the master, you Eichhoff will be the master, I would go with that. I would take it as a big distinction. I think, as I've just said before, I'm a very good vessel, very appropriate vessel. Am I not? Yes, yes, yes. you are. Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome.